Okay, so in this talk, I'm going to prove something which is again quite important for groups, but I'm going to prove it in a slightly more general context, just because it's a little easier to see what is happening and what exactly we are using in that more general context. So I have a monoid, and for variety, I'm now calling it M. I've been calling it S for a set, but now I'll call it M for monoid. It's a binary operation star. Okay, that's the multiplication of the monoid, and the identity element is E. Okay? Okay? So let's say that you have an element in the monoid which is left invertible. Okay? So you have an element A in the monoid which has a left inverse B. And now I want to show that A is left cancellative. What do I mean by that? I mean that if I have A times C equals A times C, I can cancel A and get C equals D. Okay? So how would you prove this? Well, we start with a star c equals a star d, and then we have to do some manipulation. So what will our manipulation be? Yeah. So, so I should explain what left inverse b means. What does it mean? b star a equals to b. Awesome. So what do we do here? We have to somehow use the left inverse, right? Mm -hmm. What do we do? B star. Well, what do we start? We have this equation. What do we multiply it by? B. On which side? Left. Yeah. So since now group operations and monoid operations and things like that are not commutative, when you say multiply both left hand side and right hand side by something, you have to specify whether you're multiplying it on the left or the right within each side. Okay? So multiply by B on the left. So what do we get? We get B star A star C in parentheses is B star A star D. Okay, now what? Associating with Y. Okay. What do we get? B star A star C equals to B star A star D. Okay, now what? Now we use the left inverse. So use that P is the left inverse, okay? This is fast. So what do we get? So we get E star C equals E star D. Now what next? C equals to D. So now use that E as the identity, right? Okay. Actually, I mean, I'm just writing it in many steps, but you can sort of see immediately if you think about it, right? You multiply the inverse, the B and E star A cancel, and you're just left with C and D. So what's the upshot of all this? What's uh, the moral of this, this story? What have we proved in essence? We've proved that left invertible implies what? Left cancellation. So any element that's left invertible, you can cancel whenever it appears on the left. Okay, what would a similar thing be for the right side? Right invertible implies right cancellation. Okay, now you do know that if an element is both left invertible and right invertible, you act actually has a two-sided inverse. Why is that? That's a separate fact. Why? Because any left inverse must equal any right inverse. Right? We saw that in a separate video. Okay? Because you use that technique, pit them against each other, etc. So, invertible is the same as saying left invertible and right invertible. Why? Because if it's left and right invertible and right invertible, then the left and right inverse must be equal, and hence it's actually invertible in a two-sided sense. Okay, so we get. So what do I mean by invertible? Just means it has a two-sided inverse, but that's the same as saying it has a left inverse and it has a right inverse, right? Yeah. Because they have to be equal. And what would I mean by saying cancellative? You can cancel from the left off. You can cancel that particular element if it appears on the left or if it appears on the right, either way. Okay, now how is this important in the context of groups? Well, in groups, what are the invertible elements in groups? 
which elements of a group are invertible? Every. Every element. Which means that every element in a group can be cancelled mm -hmm. on the left and on the right. So the upshot is that cancellation can be done from the left and from the right in a group. But but we have to cancel from the same side on both like if you have, if I have an one expression equals another, I cannot cancel the left here with the right here. I have to cancel the left with the left and the right with the right. Okay. okay? So does that give you a better feel for groups? Yes. Okay, good. Okay. 